Holy shit boys, did we get a look at a new hero coming to Paragon? There was the showcasing of the Unreal Engine and apparently the developer was showing off a hero in Paragon. Before we discuss, take a look for yourselves. And we mentioned retargeting earlier. And that's working and we're going to demonstrate that here. Here's our mannequin here and a uh, character from Paragon on the other side. And we're going to show them playing that exact same animation. Character from Paragon has uh, Anim Dynamics based pelt and uh, various accoutrements. <laughs> They're all um, playing a secondary animation while the rig is animating the skeleton. I think that's it for the demo. Well, shit. I bet you all thought I was talking about the dummy model, then the camera panned and you were like, oh, okay, Ace isn't crazy. Now, there could be the possibility that this isn't a hero in Paragon and that they made it for the demonstration. It's unlikely, but it's possible. But what leads me to believe this is actually a hero in Paragon is the next clip. You'll notice in the clip the file name is Mambo. We can assume this is the codename of the hero because it corresponds with a bunch of data mined ability from way back in version 32 that was posted on Reddit. If we look at Mambo's abilities, the primary is unknown but she does look like a melee hero. We have an ability which dodges with shroud, so maybe invisibility. Now this didn't convince me but what did was the next two abilities. Poison Field and Sacrificial Dagger. These both look like the type of ability this hero would have. She reminds me of the Witch Doctor in Diablo, sort of, with this lizard thing in her hand. Looks like she does deal poison damage and the fact that she's into this voodoo sort of thing makes sense that Sacrificial Dagger would be an ability. And I'm even more convinced that Sacrificial Dagger is an ability for her because, well, she has a dagger. Poison Field is potentially a projectile while Sacrificial Dagger is an AoE effect. Her ultimate says mark, unmark targets, reveal enemies, damage. So not really too much information, but I guess we'll know soon enough. What do you guys think of this hero? I actually really like her. It's a different design. Sure, it's a humanoid body, but the color scheme is nice. The lizard she holds and then the snakes on her neck seem pretty cool. And a kit, I'm sure, is a lot more interesting than the data mine makes out. So are we potentially getting our first poison hero in Paragon? I'd love to see this hero with a couple more poison cards just to make the game more interesting. Of course, we are getting the card rework soon, so maybe this hero is coming out with that rather than is the next hero, but my suspicion is that this is the next hero. Poison at the moment in Paragon has two effects. It reduces any healing effects by 75%, including lifesteal, health regen, and cards like Circle of Health, while also dealing damage that scales off your hero level. So having a hero that has this built in could be pretty interesting and make for some really interesting plays. As you know, at the moment, lifesteal is a really big thing. Having that sustain on a carry is really important, but with a hero that has poison built Built into a kit that could really shake things up. Anyways, I thought I'd share this information with you. Thanks to Aris Gahara for posting this on Reddit. I'll leave a link to all my sources in the description if you want to check them out for yourself. Let me know what you think of Mambo in the description below and if this is the next hero to enter Monolith. Smash that thumbs up button if you enjoyed and say subscribe for all the latest Paragon news.